Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching. This is Running on Empty Food Review. I am your host, the Report of the Week. Wow. I don't even know what else to say this time around. This is... This is just incredible. This is just absolutely incredible. It's the biggest twist of 2018 by far. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I remember, very wistfully as a matter of fact, looking at that sad day in early October 2017, when McDonald's, they released their Szechuan sauce. And I remember sitting there in the parking lot, tears in my eyes, if not streaming down my face, when they told me that they were all out. And I remember kind of looking at that McDonald's sign. I remember saying, I know they're going to be back. I know they're coming back. They might not be here tomorrow. They might not be here the next day. Or the day after that. Or even the day after that. But maybe a couple months from now, it's coming back. And it's back. It's back. It's back. Allegedly for today only. But they said they understood the the mistakes that were made in terms of the availability thereof. They're flooding the market today. They're coming into almost every McDonald's. And I got my hands on them. They're really meant to be paired with their uh, buttermilk chicken tenders. So that's what I got also. And along with that came two packets of their Sichuan sauce. You can see it right there. Two packets. We're, we're, we're double dosing it up. The two packets right here. There's one. And there's the other. And there they are together. And there's me in between the packets. Yeah. There they are. Uh, now first and foremost, one thing that a few people have already brought up. Um, because, uh, number one, a few people, they were asking, well, are you going to, uh, you're not going to review the, the, the Szechuan sauce, right? Well, by viewer demand, I'm giving it a shot. I'm giving it a try. I've gotten literally so many comments, so many emails sent to that Rep Week email address. I'm talking not just dozens, hundreds, if not thousands coming in. So many, I can't even respond to any other emails. There's literally that many coming in. They're saying, if you brought one, are you going to review it on the, you know, the, the, the 26th, 7th, whatever day that it's out? You know, they say, are you going to review it? Are you going to try it? And I finally caved into the peer pressure. And uh, well, here we are. Uh, one thing, do take note. Uh, they do have new packaging. They have new packaging, a new design, as you've seen. Uh, the original ones, of course, are really themed with the Rick and Morty uh, theme for the Szechuan sauce, uh, which featured a much more colorful and uh, really artistic design. Uh, this one goes for a more minimalistic design, which I'm still a fan of. I honestly like this design, but I know a few people, they might see this, they might have been expecting it to be, you know, almost, almost identical to the first one that they released in October in terms of packaging, etc. Um, but this is the design that they're going with, and I don't have a problem with it. You know, they have to change it up anyway. Now, I've already reviewed these chicken tenders, and uh, they were actually pretty good. I remember that. Tried these out back in October. But, uh, you know, they pretty much look the same. You can see they're nice crispy tenders. They're the buttermilk ones. Um, they're pretty good from my recollections. Uh, the box still comes with two sauce distribution centers, um, which we will try to utilize today. And, uh, well, let's open this sauce up. Let's try it out. Um, some of the main ingredients, interestingly enough, are sugar, water, distilled vinegar, cornstarch, wheat, soybeans, salt, corn vinegar. Um, those are the main ingredients. It is really a soy-based product, um, which considering what a Szechuan sauce really is, um, makes perfect sense. You can see the sauce itself here on camera, perhaps. If you can see it, I don't know how well it's showing up. It is a, uh, you know, it's a thick, dark liquid. Um, it's not black. It might look black in the color, but really it's a very dark brown in color. It's not, not it's, it's just a really dark brown. And uh, we're just going to dip a, dip a tender into this, and we're going to see 
see how this one, uh, how this tastes. So it's the Szechuan sauce from McDonald's, newly released for today only. I'm gonna try it out. It's going in. Trying to get the prized close-up shot of the buttermilk chicken tender with a slow drip of Szechuan sauce coming off of it. Now we have it in the sauce distribution center, right there. It was a struggle, but that might be intentional. That might be, you know, trying to make it a little bit of a, a challenge so you'd come to appreciate the sauce distribution centers even more. Well, the big question, what does it taste like? You know, a lot of people, I think they go out and they'll go and they'll get this sauce kind of just to get it, you know, but they might not really, the, the, the thought of how it tastes might be a second, you know, a second thought. It might not really be at the forefront of one's mind. The Szechuan sauce could also be pronounced perhaps Szechuan sauce, Szechuan sauce, you know, everyone has their own different pronunciation for it, is... It, it, it's something that you would expect from like a, a Chinese restaurant, you know, it's that type of sauce. It's not exactly like a soy sauce, but for those of you who don't really eat a lot of sauce, that's what you would, you would find it to be closest to. You know, I think it's, it's like something that you might find at your local Chinese place or Panda Express or something like that, uh, where it definitely has a very strong you know, Asian uh, influence in terms of, of its flavor. The sauce itself is, as I said, heavily soy-based, but it's got really two main things. It's got a little bit of a sweetness to it, which at first seems like that's going to be the prevailing characteristic of it, but that changes and that changes fast. And then this tanginess comes in, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, let me just check, I think that's from the vinegar and a little bit from the... Uh, really from the ginger, I'd say, that the vinegar kind of, of course, does help that out, but really from the ginger, there's one other ingredient here that caught my eye, um, the garlic also. Sometimes I like perusing through the ingredients in a sauce because it really kind of helps you see its makeup and help identify some of the flavors in it best, um, but really that ginger certainly does come through, uh, as does the garlic, that is mostly secondary, but it really, overall, it, it works out pretty nice. It's a type of sauce that you really wouldn't expect from McDonald's, so it's a nice little change in that regard. You know, it's something, again, has a little bit of sweetness first, then comes the tanginess, and that's what really prevails and lingers on, even as a little bit of an aftertaste, uh, but it blends very well with these uh, chicken tenders here. Um, probably blend well with fries, too, chicken nuggets, uh, though, as I said, it's really meant to go with these chicken tenders here, so that's really my main recommended pairing. The sauce itself is free, though. 
Um, so you could just get it with anything. They usually give two packets per customer. And uh, all in all, the sauce is, it, it's pretty good for what it is. You know, one of the, uh, the things that I always like about McDonald's is, is sometimes how infractuous they can be. And that's a big word, which pretty, me pretty, much, pretty much means, uh, you know, winding about, how, how varied they can be. It means I like that they're willing to kind of delve into things like this, you know, this type of sauce. It's the last, it's really the last place you would expect it from. You know, if you just opened up this sauce and gave it to a consumer and said, you know, hey, where do you think, what major chain do you think it's from? People would probably say, oh, it's from, you know, Panda Express, of course. You know, it, it tastes like something like at a Chinese restaurant. But the fact that they're releasing this at McDonald's and being respectful of those who didn't have the opportunity to try it the first time is admirable. And uh, for what it is, you know, it's not like they just said, uh, we know that this is going to be a gimmick and a novelty and we don't have to put any attention into how it tastes because people are going to buy it anyway. I like that they didn't just go with that route. They actually put it together and uh, they made it a pretty nice, unique and tasty sauce, if you ask me. So again, considering the price, which it's free, and considering the quality for what it's worth, I say if you have a McDonald's near you and it's not too crazy, I don't think it will be today, um, but if you're in the mood for it, you just want to get some fries, just some nuggets, I, you know, some chicken tenders, whatever, I say go for it. I say get it, try it out, get this sauce. It's completely complimentary. You get two packets. It's a unique flavor that, again, you really won't expect from McDonald's, but they do it well. They do it better than you'd expect it to be. Uh, they do a good job with it, and especially for a novelty. I think they did a good job on this one, and I say try it out. You know, if, if, you, if you're feeling it, try it out. I don't really think you'll be disappointed. And hey, then you could say you, you got to try the, the, the Szechuan sauce even at that, you know, so you could just kind of laud that around also. With that being said, out of 10, I'm going to be giving this a 9.4 out of 10, a higher rating because again, for something that's complimentary, I think they did a good job on it. And I think it serves as a pretty good accompaniment to, uh, you know, many of their items for, for, for that dipping life, as they say. That's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, The Report of the Week. Today's review is for the limited time Szechuan sauce from McDonald's, uh, released today only. And if you are interested, uh, please check out the Teespring store, teespring.com slash stores slash The Report of the Week. More information in the description and in the cards above, uh, where you could just find some Report of the Week merchandise, some new designs being updated always. And I know this is in the future, but just keep in mind, if you want to check out the VORW uh, radio show, you could check it out on SoundCloud, TuneIn, and on Shortwave. Coming up this Thursday, it's a couple days away, but never hurts to have a little reminder. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you soon. That's all. And now we march to turn off the camera.